latest on Cyclone Shaheen, which is moving closer to the coast of Oman today and is expected to make landfall in the afternoon evening hours local time uh, as it continues as a category one. The good news is we haven't seen much strengthening. It's still at 80 miles per hour and a pressure of 974 millibars, contrary to what one of the models said yesterday and more than one actually about it reaching at least category two status but as of right now at 2 p.m in muscat uh, that's the current situation moving west southwest at uh, seven miles per hour the cdps has changed little it's gone up very slightly in terms of the um, storm size the rest of the information is unchanged still a stage three on the cdps significant impacts possible uh, looking at the storm right now, there it is uh, in relation to the coast and its wind field showing that tropical storm conditions could be reaching the highly populated areas around Muscat and Sieb nearby, um, currently at 24.2 degrees north, 58 point, I think it was 5 degrees east, 63 kilometers only from Sieb, 66 from Muscat, the capital of Oman, 147 from Saham, further up towards the west, 161 from Soha, and 253 from Al Ain over the border uh, in the United Arab Emirates. That's well inland, but all of those areas could receive significant rainfall totals, and that could be a big defining part of this storm. Obviously, the area that we're in, of course, a very dry part of the world, rainfall estimates could reach up to 12 inches. So maximum sustained winds, a decent uh, agreement between the agencies, the IMD and the JTWC. Uh, not sure what the ADT is up to, I think it's given up, it's down towards 50 miles per hour, it certainly looks better than that. Uh, and here is the latest JTWC forecast, they're calling for slight strengthening before landfall at 85 miles per hour before moving inland and dipping further south now than what the uh, forecasts were saying previously. Uh, so. That's good news for areas in the United Arab Emirates because it looks like hardly any of those areas are going to receive the strong winds and that could also have implications on the rain and then it will move over the uh, desert wilds of the Arabian Peninsula. Here's the model and the GFS showing the storm's progress over the next few days. Uh, you can see it's traceable for a while before disappearing from the face of the earth but there it is making landfall and then moving inland rather broad there after it does so uh, so you could still see some uh, interesting conditions inland over the desert obviously sandstorm conditions maybe over the desert regions when that storm pushes in look at those rainfall estimates over the united arab emirates fairly low it's over the coast of oman and that little mountain range that gets all of the rainfall there and as said we could be looking at around 300 millimeters or higher sea surface temperatures have never been a problem for this storm it's got a reputation uh, the Gulf of Oman and the Persian Gulf particularly of very high sea surface temperatures and there they are around 30 degrees pushing 31 degrees Celsius but the storm will be moving further inland than what earlier projections were suggesting so that's going to become irrelevant very shortly. Now the HWRF is still going off on one wanting a category 4 peak it would have to happen in record time so that's really not uh, a possibility which is good news wind shear though is low so we could see some strengthening before landfall uh, obviously after the storm makes landfall then that's it it's going to weaken uh, very quickly relative humidity is dropping substantially as you'd expect uh, dropping below 40 percent shortly sea surface temperatures of course not an issue and the track consensus is pretty good Here's the latest satellite imagery of the storm over the last few hours as it's made its closest approach to Muscat. Uh, you can see a general westward motion, but in the latest uh, hour or two it's been west-southwest at around 250 degrees um, bearing. And you can see the storm's progress there, obviously in climate conditions along the coast. Uh, and those bands are reaching pretty much all of the coast of Oman by now, so rainfall and inclement conditions will be being experienced throughout the whole region at this point. We'll have another update on this storm as it approaches landfall.